gonna try to cut off a little bit of the information on the screen just because we don't need to see everything. We can have like a little bit of a condensed view of it, but I'm gonna leave that there so you can kind of see where uh, my opponent is at that we're uh, racing against for the tournament. And uh, we should be ready to go whenever they say so, but just a refresher on the rules for this tournament. Um, so this league is going until Elden Ring starts. There's a lot of different matches. Um, all the players get to play each other um, at least once, I believe, but probably several times by the end of it. Uh, there's matches on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, what we're trying to do is enemy randomization with fog gate randomization. Um, the players race against each other with identical layouts of the randomization for six fog gates. Uh, whoever has the um, higher number of fog gates completed uh, from one to the other without getting a hit by an enemy wins. And I think we are starting right now. There is also a time limit per gate. So if you actually uh, take too long, then you uh, don't, you can't get a point. So we're going to have to be pretty quick. Uh, and I'm also going to have to see where we're going here. All right. So we're heading back this way, I believe. What weapons? So we're using the four prong plow and we're using the great scythe for this one. Uh, also, another rule is that they give us the weapon ahead of time. Uh, that we need to use. Usually it's one weapon. Uh, today it's two weapons. And I haven't won yet, so let's, let's see if we can win. That'd be cool. You also have to kill five enemies per fog gate to be applicable to actually uh, complete this section. That is the rule. Just so people can't uh, skip things. Or skip everything, we should say. Skeleton not dead? Does he come back? I'm not sure if the skeleton counts. Got a dark wraith right here too. That's kind of dangerous. Okay, that should be our five because we got the skelly, we got the uh, butcher, giant. Um, are we missing one? Is it only four? another butcher right there as well. I try to go for him really quick. Maybe not. Ooh. Maybe we'll go for the floaty bug dude. Oh, this butcher's gonna die really quickly. There we go. And then just for good measure, kill that guy, whatever. Then we got like six, I think. Uh, Shadow, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? So yeah, we're supposed to go into Elysial Sanctuary, which is over here. Um, did I see the tattoo that you DM me, Davey? I haven't actually seen it yet. Was it uh, recently? Like yesterday or so? Uh, also, where did you send me it? All right, so that's a point, I guess, um, which is rare. I usually don't get points on this. Something usually happens where I get hit by a projectile that I can't see or I'm tapped out where the controller's not in my hands, and there's usually at least one problem, <laughs> even if we are almost perfect. Um, we're supposed to wait before this fog gate, actually, so what I'll do here... Hmm, I might have to actually just play. Can play? Okay.
Okay, Coffin Warp, which is in the Catacombs. Hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming that's where we exit this arena. It comes back out of here. Unless we did that wrong, I don't know. I don't know what Coffin Warp is about. Unless it's just saying that like I end up there. So I'm actually going to wait for a second. Because we don't want to screw this up. The instructions were pretty good until there. <laughs> oh man. I think I went the wrong way to be honest. Or I did something. I mean, everything alright? Yeah, did I do anything wrong there? Or like, am I going the wrong way? Fantastic. Everything is smooth sailing. Okay, so it says coffin warp. Does it like so? Which fog gate do I have to go to next out of so this one? You are so currently you're going to be looking at gate two, which is the two Ula Seal Sanctuary, which is the fog gate you are looking at right now. Once you go through there, you will have to go to the coffin. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay, I'm assuming I don't wait on this one too. Uh, the sense, what's up, dude? Okay, it's five enemies here. You want to wait here, though. Oh, you we do, want to wait. Do wait. Okay, okay. Um, no, all good. If, if, if can you I quit kill out? that mushroom, don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll mark you for a kill. Okay, okay, perfect. Maybe mark me for three. <laughs> I had to get three there. <laughs> oh boy. Got to wait and run. Sorry, man. So like after, is it just after any, the fog gate following any boss fight or is it specific to like the area? Because I thought we had to wait sometimes when there wasn't bosses as well. So do you, do you see how after each of those uh, gates it says a don't wait or a wait or something like that so okay wait just because that can happen though where we go through in the enemies well i mean i guess i had one situation where they're already aggering like when i went through the gate so would it be smart to wait before the gate instead of how it says like after just in case there's enemies i feel like honestly that that's maybe an idea we should put forth but sometimes you get enemies that are chasing you to the gate so it's it's a bit difficult sometimes okay that's fair um, that's fair but yeah, if an enemy ever aggro's on you and you're instructed to not wait, go ahead and fight the enemy always because that's an error on our part. Okay. But in this case, yeah, just just wait here and uh, camp will let you know when we are ready to go. Okay, perfect. Thanks, man. No worries. So Dino's fighting straight demon right here. We're just going to expand this a bit so you can see his fight here. He's doing pretty good. This fight's fairly easy. The only problem is like it, he can buy a lot of time by just... Um, not really doing a jump attack basically for a while and if he doesn't follow up the uh the horizontal swing from like a long distance there's not there's no way to really re-enter a position to hit him because his aoe is so big so you have to you have to wait for one of those two scenarios unless he had flip ring maybe or more endurance oh G dino got hit damn okay and he was using the scythe too so the scythe out of the two weapons that we have right now the the four prong plow uh, is the other one that we're having that you can see right here. Um, I think the scythe is a better weapon for just pure damage. This one has a move set where you can poke with it. So it's more like a spear, but it's very weak though, I noticed. So I'm not gonna be using it too much. So it's probably best, especially like the how he's doing this fight, like with just using the great scythe. Definitely makes more sense. I just wanted to drop in and clarify quick. We are counting those three kills, just so you know. Okay, thanks man. Yeah, no worries. Both of you decide to ignore the plow and use the scythe. Well, the scythe is just so good, dude. It, the scythe is one of my favorite weapons in like any of the games. One of the best PvP weapons in this game, specifically. And um, it's amazing for PvE if you can get it, but it's just very, very frustrating to actually obtain. But yeah, it used to be like one of the main weapons to use for pretty much every run. I think I did the all bosses hit list with DLC with it. Like before we changed to... Um, Mainly using the Crystal Hubbard. Okay, so that right there, that's good. Got some extra damage. Yeah, you can kill him fairly fast, but you're, t you're taking a risk on getting stuck. <laughs> you think he has 14 strength and 15 dex, uh, Nico? 
so yeah like who i'm playing against right now or i guess you can call him dino his name's actually nico he um he has this um this nerf so basically as you're playing in this tournament or this league um as you accumulate points and you win matches and also make it through the gates without having a penalty from taking too long you acquire um, nerfs that you can put on your opponents so someone put a nerf on him uh, from one of the matches he played where for this match he has to actually have his stats lowered i believe um, that's what he was mentioning on his stream earlier so i think his stats are much lower than mine um, just as a um, like a kind of i guess curveball that someone threw at him that they earned from uh, playing against him not a fan of this rule. There's a lot of rules. There's definitely a lot of rules. <laughs> okay. So I think we're ready to go now. So I have all, already three of the kills. We have to head to the coffin, which shouldn't be too bad from here. Depending. Depending on what enemies. We got gold pine resin. I'm not sure if I can use that. That'd be amazing. But I'm not sure if we can use it. It's also really dark in here, too. I'm going to... Oh, this enemy's not good. So we don't want this situation here. So I'm not even going to screw around with those guys. We're going to leave. Uh, that is fine. Snake is fine. Snake we could one shot. So it's four. We just need one more. And then we're really hoping it's nothing crazy here. Oh, that's the dog. Okay. It's really unfortunate. There's two there. Getting stuck. Shouldn't heal. Really bad idea. There's three. And then we're going to be in trouble well, here through the wall, probably. That resin you found. Uh, you're saying I, I, I can't use it? You, you can, yes. Oh, you, you can. can? Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, so yeah, this one's a, <laughs> a bad gate. <laughs> unfortunate, man. It's a tough one because like uh, a lot of those enemies you don't really want to deal with um, just because you will probably try to like kill them and then even if like you fought them one on one I mean that's fine but because there's other enemies that layout you could get killed trying to focus on the most dangerous one which would be the dude that has the horn so um, and then we have a uh, the Lucille creature that's in the tomb or the actual like inside area which is super dangerous so I'm not going to be able to climb the ladder there. He might take two hits to kill. I'm thinking it's going to be one, but it might take two. Uh, and then there's also the dog. The dog is going to immediately hit me. This weapon's not going to work for that, so I'm going to have to switch back to this. But we're going to have to re-kill these guys again to have the opening, I think. So hopefully we don't get screwed for time here. Coming from this Sifu stream, this is much more calming to watch. Sifu looks so cool, dude. I'm gonna have to try that at some point. Looks awesome. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Is that a necromancer over there too? Damn. All right. Well, that's that. That was that was really rough. Oh man. Good luck to Nico, dude. It looks like he actually had to do a run back as well. If I'm seeing that properly, yeah, I think I think he might have. Oh, so clean if only dude honestly that that dog is the only problem 
It was the only problem in general. Nothing else there would have been an issue on the first one. If I just got the dog, then, I mean, like, the guy around the corner wasn't aggro right away, so I could have hooked him through the doorway and then uh, just turned and ran, and everything would have been fine there. So that one single little dog made everything super complicated. <laughs> um, please no gank me. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, man. I hope you enjoy your moats. Thank you for using your Prime sub here, too. Um, also, if you guys have any questions while we're waiting, while we're just watching uh, Dino uh, play the rest of that previous gate, like you can ask me if, if you want clarification on any of the rules or anything like that. Um, again, we're trying to get um, the most completions of one fog gate to the next with the zero hits from the enemies, right? That's how you get one point. The more points you acquire, that's how you win. Uh, ideally, just playing safer and not getting hit as much in general is going to probably get you the win, but you do also have to get perfect completions of one fog gate to the next to get the actual point. Um, and then there is the time uh, factor as well. So if you take too long, uh, you kind of get screwed. So you do want to be kind of quick and also accurate at the same time. Last gate, uh, he hasn't completed it yet, so I have no idea. I can't tell you how many hits he has. I couldn't even tell you how much we had on that one. It was a handful, um, probably like six or somewhere from like six to ten, I would say. And then, um, yeah, I'm not sure if we would get, if, if either of us would get a point. But we have one so far, as far as I know. So I have five hits, so I got five on that one. He has nine, so yeah. So we did better on the gate. I'm not sure if we actually get a point for the match for that. Um, but either way, we're doing decent on the first one. And now we're going from here. So from here, we have to go Undead Bird to Fire Link. That's interesting. Okay. Um, there's multiple ways you could do that, but to Fire Link is not a fog gate. So to Hellkite Bridge. Undead Berg entrance from Firelink end. Okay, wait. From Undead Berg to Firelink, where you coffee warm. Undead Berg entrance. And so, do you know where you're heading? Uh, well, the thing is, it says to Firelink, but Firelink's not a fog gate. So, from Firelink to Hellkite, couldn't I just go through the basin? Can I just take the shortcut from Havel and go there and kind of cheat it, sort of? Or is that not count? So, what you actually need to do here is you can't do that because you'll get stuck at another fog gate. What you need to do oh, okay. is you need to backtrack through the Undead Berg to. Do you know where the Hellkite Drake comes down and lands on the bridge at the start? Yes. There is a fog gate just past that. That's where you're going. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Hellkite Drake lands on the bridge over here would be. That'd be the other way. That'd be where Taurus Demon is. So how do we how do we get to Taurus Demon from here? Without going underneath. Hmm. <laughs> Hellkite Bridge. You'd have to kill Taurus. Or you'd have to go from inside where Parrish is, where but that wouldn't be over here. That would also be near Basin. Hmm. Yeah, this is a little bit interesting. I actually don't understand where we're going. <laughs> From where he lands and leaves in Undead Berg. Oh wait, that's well, that's not the actual Hellkite Bridge. That's a that's just like a random scripted thing. Okay, that's kind of confusing. <laughs> Sorry. How, oh. I, so wait, you 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 meant the, the 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 scripted event where he like touches the ground and then leaves, not the actual yeah, like, bridge. Yeah, okay, okay. One. You bet. My bad. My bad. That makes more sense. No, sorry, I should have clarified. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just I need okay, specific awesome. instructions sometimes. No, no, no. It's all good. It's, I think you understand. So the world good. might be mended. So the world might be mended. Okay, so we're two on that. Um, this should be pretty simple here. Or not, almost. Okay, we don't want him to jump again, so we're gonna want to play this a bit safer. There we go. Mosquito might be safe to leave. We're mainly worried about bone wheels here. Can I? Can I actually? Yeah, okay, let's we'll leave the mosquito. Hey, Squilla. Painting guardian definitely needs to be taken out. So is this guy. Another painting guardian. Grab you as well. See ya. That should be the five. Vagrant might snipe me. Uh, we got this guy. This guy's got to be killed very quickly, too. He'll jump and destroy me. Vagrant's not shooting any. Oh, what was that? Don't know where that came from. Might have been through the wall. 
Didn't see anything, so that was... I have no idea. Oh, yep. Through the wall, I think. Okay. Welcome back, King. Okay, so super unfortunate. Blind hit from somewhere I could not tell you. It was probably like a like one of the grass dudes through the wall, the vine arm or something. Really unfortunate. Oh, we got Gwyn. Nice. That's actually pretty cool, though. That should be fun, especially with the scythe. He was that guy was in a building. Yeah, he was actually inside the room with the chest that has um, the fire bombs, I think, or the um, like on the way to get the gold uh, resin, like where you go through the locked door. I think he was actually inside. Didn't kill five. I should have. I got uh, the three with. So I got painting guardians. Two of them with the hollow, the black knight, the um, guy from the blight town. So we got like seven, I think, on that. Definitely much more than five. At least seven or eight, I would say. Scythe seems like a fun weapon. It's dude, it's one of the best for sure. I highly recommend if you have if you played this game, you haven't used this weapon before, use this weapon right now. Make it a priority. It is uh, literally, I think it actually is the best, best dex weapon next to Painting Guardian Sword. Um, just in terms of how easy it actually is to get. Walking out here because of those guys on the roof. I don't remember what they are. I don't remember if they have range attacks, but just be aware. Okay, yeah, I'll just I'll just chill. <laughs> uh, also, Reaper, thank you for the four months. Welcome back, dude. Also, uh, Vandervolt, thank you for the 53 months. It's going pretty good. How are you? Uh, Frindy, how are you? Welcome, man. Thank you for being here. To witness some scary things. <laughs> How does this work? You thought it would be the one the first complete as many wins. So you get a point by making a fog gate completion from one to the next without getting hit by an enemy. So that last stretch we just ran, we got one hit. That's not a perfect fog gate, unfortunately. But I think if he does worse on it, uh, we still technically are winning. Uh, my height, I'm 6'2 at the moment. Um, you didn't kill five. Bonus points for more kills. I don't think you get bonus points for more kills. The five kills just guarantees that you actually are trying to um, not just, you know, get lucky and sprint through everything. It adds a little bit more challenge and meaning to actually randomizing the enemies as well because some of them are really stupid. It depends on, like, obviously what area you get for the layout as well. So that's what makes it um, interesting, I guess. Okay. So Dino's here. Uh, we're going to be uh, going to Hellkite Bridge. After this, Undeadburg entrance from Firelink is the end of this. So we're just waiting until we can do the boss. Okay, so we got Man Serpent. He's going to crawl down. a bone wheel which is really nice that I actually didn't uh, go for that or just wait <laughs> uh, so it'll be stuck it'll try to turn around the plow will be smarter here through the wall actually but I'm gonna have to fall to the side there we go you just see if can I parry like this can parry still nice okay that was terrible <laughs> took too long to think there I was honestly just debating what attack he was gonna do <laughs> resin yeah the resin would, would be kind of smart unfortunately Gwyn is actually uh, resistant to lightning he's weak to fire so it would only help such a little amount that it might not actually even gain me an extra attack, which means it's the same thing either way, right? So it has to be enough damage where each attack I do, uh, it basically adds up to an extra attack I don't have to do for it to even be better. I think the damage would be like really little just based on testing all the resins on, on all the bosses, you know? Gwyn's like super, super resistant to lightning because he used to use lightning before he went into the dark side of the chaos. Unfortunately, we have to replay this part, I think, because um, there was not a bonfire. So the undead bird. Oh, actually, there was. There was one to the right. So 
have to run this again really quick, see if we can just go through it. Worth getting the Undeadberg Bonfire? Definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. Should have just done that anyways. It's kind of worried, though, because there's more enemies in that area. And uh, there's a lot of them that are placed around there, so I'm like, you know, I don't want to get sniped by projectiles and have crazy, cheesy hits from places I can't really see. This guy's not letting me hit the wall. Here we go. Make the rat fall, probably. And the running attack on this is actually pretty good. What does fog randomizer mean? So the fog gates are randomized and the enemies are randomized. So if you enter a fog gate, it doesn't go to where it normally would. It goes somewhere else. Each side has one location it takes you to that's not the actual location it would normally lead to. And then every enemy is switched for another enemy. Including bosses. Sometimes regular enemies also do become bosses as well. Dependent on uh, where you are, I think, because there's, there's some parameters that the randomization allows and some that it doesn't just to make it actually possible in certain cases. Oh, instant backstab, because we rolled away while facing him. If he attacks and you're like even just facing away, even like feet away, he'll just instant backstab. It's unfortunate. I forgot about that. That's why killing these guys was smart the first time. Oh, the snake. Maybe the snake was the, the culprit if, before. If you can, to grab the bonfire up ahead here. Yep, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, sounds good. Okay, actually the enemies had moved from here. There's usually one that's inside here. Wonder who replaced them. Good look on that one. So I'll probably have to unfortunately uh, warp for this. Or we'll just lose the gate. Why are you naked? Um, so part of the tournament rules is that you can only use weapons. You don't have any other pieces of equipment or items. Unless you pick them up, but the weapons have to be the same. You can use consumables if you find them. And that's pretty much it. So it's pretty basic. Also prank, what's up man? Teleport to bonfire. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. I have to actually wait until I can be told that. Because I might break the rules if I teleport too soon. There's a certain um, time limit and then they make you teleport. But then that would be that you're skipping the content. You're actually just going to um, use like cheats on the boss. Skip it. You don't get the point and then you have to go to the next one. But since he's still running it, I'm sure I can keep running it until he actually beats it. And then when he's on the next one, I'll probably have to skip. That's my guess. Lit the bonfire? Um, I don't believe I did. I mean, it doesn't matter anyways. Obviously, I can't go back to it because it didn't work. It would send me back if it was working. I don't think I did, though. Didn't get a chance to. Ooh. Two weapons to choose from? Yeah, that's actually a really nice uh, thing. I think these are really nice weapons to, to use for this. The plow, I mean, again, low damage, really good moveset. And then Scythe, not the greatest moveset, really good damage. But really decent if you can, if you know how to use it properly. I 
go watch The Office. I tried to, dude. It's really boring, to be honest. Um, I would consider that more of like a background show, probably. But uh, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't really get into it. Like Steve Carell, I don't mind him. He's a really good actor in certain movies, but I think the style of humor is just a little uh, not really like up my alley. But um, I can I can understand why people like it. I know it's pretty popular. Cause people usually talk to me about it like for a long time until I had seen it. And I'm like, what the hell's The Office? And then I saw it and I was like, eh, I don't know. Nice. It's funny that like the harder enemies are actually easier because of the way it's laid out right here. Then we got all these painting guardians. So I'll try the plow on them, see if that's better. I'm not sure if it's a one shot. There's a counter, so it might have worked just because of that. Oh, okay, we're good. Instant doom. And that's not good either. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta escape here. Which one of these has a greater crit? 100 and 100? Okay, same thing. Okay, we don't want this bone meal to fall off. <laughs> Ooh, we jumped. Nice. No cancel. Bone wheel. Sketchy. Happy birthday. CHWO. Do you not die? Okay. That's what I was trying to do. It do be unfortunate. Was an actual mistake with the roll there. Actually, did a reverse roll for me, conveniently. So that would have been nice first try. Okay. Uh. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Okay, bridge way undead berg entrance so from Firelink. Your DS1 content is my favorite that you produce. I hope you never stop enjoying what you do. Have a great day, man. Just making sure this is the right place. Parish undead berg entrance from Firelink. Um, berg entrance entrance. Undenberg to Firelink, wait, how did I? Undenberg entrance. Which would be the bridge, I don't know. No, it's the other side of the building we actually went through, I think, already. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to figure that one out. Uh, Jared, thank you for the nine months, welcome back, dude. This plunge probably will be bad, but I think I could one-shot both of them. Let's wait for the Painting Guardian, actually. All the rebound, nice. <laughs> oh, man. Blow dart? Oh, no. Two of them. Shit. It's not good. 
And a clam. That's actually probably one of the worst rooms. And the snakes. Oh my god, dude. That's, a, that's unbelievable. How did it even hit me? What the fuck? Where, where am I stand? How is it going through the collision of the thing? You can't shoot through those things. How can they shoot through those things? That's not fair. The aim is unreal, man. Good. Good. Nice. <laughs> Sended so many dreams in this tournament. Yeah, it's a bad place, man, for randomization. Unfortunately. Cool if they made a rule where you sit on a bonfire, you have to kill five enemies again. That'd be pretty interesting, but you pretty much have to anyways. Like, there's a lot of enemies you just end up killing. It's really hard to not kill five enemies without trying. Like, you kind of just end up doing that. Thought you guys were supposed to be good at this? <laughs> Being good at a randomizer. That's hilarious, man. That's a funny, that's a funny prospect. It would be nice. But then what's the point of, what's the point of watching it then? There's no memes, right? They said that I won. I don't really feel like I won. <laughs> But what is new? So, Aids, thanks for the good luck, man. I appreciate you guys watching this too. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like I said, it's a lot of, it's, it's a very nice mixture of sodium, uh, memes, surprise, excitement, and sadness. Okay, Firelink entrance, or Undeadburg entrance is from Firelink. It's not over here. Need a spot to chill so I can think for a second. It's the other side of that building again that we were going to, which is before this area, so we have to go through Firelink, which is over here. Uh, who's that in the lower right? That's who I'm playing against. It's uh, Dino Singel. <sighs> the, uh... Oh, is the shoutout command not working? That's not good. You have the purple blossom? I do, actually. You're right. Should be using that one. Any special rules? Like leveling, power adjustment, random lord vessel. Uh, we, don't, we don't get the lord vessel for any of this. Um... The stats are usually the same, but my opponent has a nerf that was given to him by another player when they played before, which is um, no leveling, so he actually has a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, I think he played pretty good despite that, though, from what I've seen. And then there's there's like a dull weapon nerf that you can put on your opponent where they can't use an upgraded weapon, stuff like that, but um, usually those aren't, like, all the time. It's just once in a while. Um, 
So same stats, same weapons. We have to have the four prong plow and the great scythe plus 15. 40 dex, 15 strength, 40 endurance, 15 vitality. Um, and yeah. A whole lot of uh, whole lot of memes. That angle was insane on the worm there. Jeez. I didn't want to go into the giant humanity, but I guess we'll try this. Just make him fall off. Don't know if he'll ever fall off. He might actually... Oh, okay. Cool. Humanities can fall off things. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Congrats on the win. gonna fall on me. This is not good. I'm gonna have to do a jump attack. Maybe not even. Okay, we'll escape. We've killed enough enemies. <laughs> That's a done deal. There we go. Oh, that was that was a little bit of a better seed, but some parts were still questionable. <laughs> oh, all right, that's that. Good job, Nico. I, don't, I know he can't see me. But he's in the corner still. He's in the corner of our hearts. But the front of our souls in our minds. <laughs> that was kind of cringy. Uh, Latars, thank you. If I said that right, um, thank you for the two months. Welcome back, man. And guys, follow Dino Singale if you haven't. He's doing some crazy runs right now. He's actually trying to do the SL1 zero damage run on DS3. Um, he just got the regular zero damage all bosses run. So check him out, dude, if you guys like that kind of stuff. Um, and just if you want like a really entertaining person to watch. So his link is in the chat. I'll be putting it in the link of this video if it actually does get uploaded. Um, and this is the only time I've actually won so far in this league. But again, it doesn't really feel like a win. It just feels the same as every other match. <laughs> Apparently I did win. Um, hopefully you guys saw some funny stuff. We got some crazy situations. But it was a little bit better than before. Uh, and that is that. So we're done for now. I don't know if they want us to talk because they're doing the commentary now um I'm not sure if it matters i'll just stay in the discord and we'll set everything else up for uh the next thing we're doing so for anyone that hasn't uh been here until like just two seconds ago we were just finishing up the zero hit league tournament there's the command right there if you want to watch hob stream and see the host channel that has both perspectives of the players with the overlay and the commentary and everything uh, and then as well as just some of the rules again. And uh, we're going to be doing the master run now. 